work to do enough on my Beeman G.Dry video. I've downloaded a uh, new mod, not this vehicle, this is my custom vehicle which I spawned into the game with. Um, it's not too bad, but this isn't a vehicle we're going to be checking out. Um, so if we're going to um, download, the, well not download, but drive a vehicle. It's stored under the Gaffle D series and it is um, D35 V8 4 wheel drive max tow bundle. So I'm going to spawn new, we're not going to replace that, like we're still going to use that on later. So as you can see, what's different about this? Well, obviously, it's got the capsule, and it's got the dually set up, but it's also got this weird attachment on the back. Now it's for a fifth wheel. So if we go into um, spawning the new vehicle again, we'll go down to um, the drive hand tra trailer, spawn that into the game. So now that's in the game. We'll go to this one here, press L to attach the trailer. Hard. I'm going to quickly turn down um, the sound in a minute. That is quite a bit too loud. I know you're looking at it, it's not very loud on there, but. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that's how it should be. Right, anyway, so. Gonna move this around. And move this away. And you notice under acceleration, the front wheels are moving around, which you should do. It's definitely fairly steering, but. Oh. As soon as it doesn't affect them um, going into a straight line, but it doesn't. It does look a bit weird. Try flipping it over. It's quite bouncy. But this, one thing about this is it, it does, um, doesn't corner very well on under speed. But can't go too hard if the train's going to flip. But I've got it just right before, but I've got a corner. It's, it's going to corner very easily. But apart from that, you know, it's not too bad for a tow vehicle. But like all cars, it will flip the trailer very easily. Flip it again. What is gonna flip again there for a minute? No, it's not a bad tow vehicle, probably it's a bit easier than um, the using like dolly. Um yeah, that's what I mean. It's definitely corner very well when you get to, to the right speed. See, I tried to unflip it. It's not going to do it very well. That would be. It's really getting a bit battered, but oh well. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, and this is now ruined. I'm not turning to go that way. Yeah, and this car's ruined. It's not going anywhere. So, oh, I've run you over a few parts in this truck. Nothing has really been modified at all. Apart from a few things, which we go into the, um, the config menu. Go to parts, frame. Now, you see down here in the engine, we've got a 7 litre V8 in it. Make sure it's part of the package. You can still put the stage 3 supercharger on, which I will do. Which, you'll see what I mean by the wheels in a minute, and they'll go even more funnier with that. And the only thing I, the thing I looked at really, but could be a lot more. Obviously, you've got the, the rear set up, but I've not really looked too far into it. Um, it's, you could just put it uh, even more heavy duty um, rear leaf spring set up on. So now we've got the big old supercharger. We'll, um, or tow with traffic, so I should say, um, try towing again after the um, help of the trailer um, was raise, raised up. I bent the truck really a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about that. I've got a bit more power going through. 
I know this one thing actually he did mention in the mod title one. You know, you've put an even um, more heavy duty radi radiator in so it shouldn't overheat. And they now put the bigger supercharger in, you can really see them wheels moving. But again, it, it does seem to fit the straight line and speed of the track, which is good. But there's a lot of squealing from the wheels going on. Oh, oh there we go. I'm going to crash this truck into the wall down here, so we've got quite good speed going on. down a bit, get a bit of angle, speed up a bit. So it's about 70 miles an hour, we're going to crash into this wall. There's first impact. Quite a squished vehicle, it's very bent, and I don't think anyone would survive that. Not that one, get rid of that. It's a yeah, that's um, bent to say the least. At least the rear wheel will still spin, so you can take them off and put them onto a new truck. That's yeah, fine. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna drive this one out the way a bit. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go into the figure config as the engine should be saved in there. Not on this one, right? Engine, see if we can. Hopefully, yes, there we go. Put a 7.8, 7 litre V8 in there. You see what the Sage 3 supercharger one? Don't know if that will help in any way. But now we should have a lot more power coming out of this vehicle. I'm going to go onto here, put them. Um, not that one, sorry, that one. Go down to the dolly. Whenever it wants to go down. That minute, oh no, no, now it's installing. So we have to dolly. There it is. And put the extended one on. And it's spawn new. Press O on there. I still think this is, a, this is a better way of towing, but um, I, I find it still to be a bit more stable than that one. And they still call it a bit better as well, in my opinion, this one. Uh, push that into here. Perfect, near enough. Leave it on there a minute. Hopefully, if I put um in the skirt, there we go. Let's reset that to there. Press L. Nice, I can do Go on to this and press L on that again. That's good. Right. A little more power through there. So should be a bit better. Let me see if we can get the same amount of speed up towing it like this. Even with the um, uh, standard, um, what was, you know, the standard um, heavy duty spin in the back is still dipping quite a bit, but not too bad. Yeah, so finally, it's a fine And we've gone. But at least if you go like that, you don't 
tip the vehicle and damage the car, you know, the last thing you want. You could damage them, pick up. And I, I personally just prefer it, like, if you can. I feel, I feel you can turn better, you've got more area to turn, you know. It's like. It makes you feel much easier to turn. I know I'm doing this low speed, but. I mean, actually, even getting up to, to similar speeds, it's still about the same. Turning. Well, a bit of a better turning rate is at similar speeds, but. Um, those are the heat's turn up quite a bit. I should have fitted a better radiator as well. But it's not going to be much of a problem. The car's going to be crashing any minute, so... I think we're getting a good speed up. No, um... It's not really... It's swaying a little bit, but it's not really much to control us. So we've got 80 miles an hour into the same wall. This is a much bigger vehicle. So hopefully... A very high impact crash. Cool. Oh, that's the trailer. Oh, that's the trailer. Get rid of that. That's the car. That's the dolly. I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Hmm. And that sustained a lot more damage than the other truck. Cool. Ouch. I'll do one more of this quickly and um quickly go into the dolly. Where is it? That one. Now you go into this. So I still want to quickly test out in that corner and think quickly. I still think even at the same speed this will be um, a bit better. You've got more turning ability you know, for effect. And you know, more um, Joint, so it should allow it to turn better. I right, get out here to the open, and um, I don't want to heat the car up too much at the minute, so yeah. Right, so it's up to about 47 minutes. I mean, it's going to flip anyway, but it was still turning a bit better anyway. It's definitely so if eight has helped quite a bit when it comes to um, speed and pulling away. Yeah, it still flips at any high speed, but it has to be expected really. But it does turn better, in my opinion. Right, what we're going to do is this one. We're going to park this down at the end and we're going to crash into this vehicle. And then you see what type of damage we can get with it. Oh, it's going. It's quite a fast car. Oh, if you let it crash. And that's about where I want it. So we're going to insert it a few times. There we go. Perfect. Gonna park it not right on the curb, um, curb um, edge. Oh, too far again. Nope, turn. There we go. There we go. That'll do. And we're gonna smash into it and then hopefully hit to the wall. Put the parking brake on. 
and let's go. Bit of overheating going on. And that's just with, um, with the ultra performance and not the heavy duty performance one like the map vehicle we've got. So, according to overheating. We need to lose some speed in the event, so hopefully we can get there in time. I'm kind of turn. It's going to be a side impact. Well, looks like not quite a uh, full hit on one. That'll do. A um, nice crash, that was. I believe this one would still drive if it was detached. It's going to die any minute, so. Um Dolly, we sit in that, we sit the trailer. And that's died, I believe. Yeah, but that would have, that would have still drove. Next one, yeah, that's very badly damaged, but it still drives. Miraculously, don't see how. Yeah, somehow when it still moves. You know, we've got one completely mangled wheel. One set of wheels off the ground. And another set flat. And obviously that one touching we really only got one wheel tick mainly touching the ground. Can't really count off on the system kind of flat. Anyway, so next no. Now I'm going to quickly go into um, this vehicle, modify this a minute, and then um, I'm going to go onto a different map. Let's go into tuning, not tuning part, sorry. Frame. Where's the radiator? I forgot where it was. It's on bed. No, it's a body in it. It's got a body. Where's the radiator? No, it's a radiator. Yeah, so um, basically, this is using the. Um, High performance radiator before the mod came out with the very high performance. After to keep the um, 7 Lee TV8 cool. So, nope, nope. Knowing that um, it overheats and it's gonna still, I'm gonna put it onto the normal one and see how quickly um, the engine overheats. And you see, it's already went to shut up already. And look how quick the heat's rising. Really gone that bad at the minute. There we go, he's going up now. Let's see the top end is. Yes.
Huh. Huh. Look at that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant, that is. Yes. Nice. That's a good crash. Alright, oh, steam wheel coming through the door. Anyway, so we're going to switch over maps now, anyway. And, um. See if we can get some destruction on it. Not that one. Keep doing that. Free roam. Go into the brutal slope. Luckily, get the top. Alright, we're on. So we're going to back this up a bit. to insert a new vehicle or spawn a new vehicle and we're going to spawn this one here spawn new I'm going to compare both of these vehicles in a minute so it doesn't work I think we're going to go off let's see what the max speed is we can get on this Instead of eating, instead of eating too fast, two twenty, two three two, two three eight. Let's see how it deforms. Form was pretty nicely. Not bad at all. Now, the reason why we spawn this one on, let's um, move that forward. Um, I, I've tried doing the brutal, brutal, brutal slope before with that truck and the dolly with the trailer. And the trailer just tends to overtake the, um, the car. So, what I mean by that is it's like sliding out and it spins the car around. Obviously, next goes to Dolly, it's like, well, you know, all the joints don't help, so, um, we're going to try this with the trailer. Actually, there's only one joint, so it should be able to um, keep control control over the trailer a lot more easier. Let's spawn it in. After the more connection you have, the harder it is to, the harder it is to control the vehicle in general. Which is why, um, when you get road trains, they tend to only go in straight lines, without turning, or anything, or with minimal turns. Right, let's get this one, see if we can control this, control this going down a hill, and get a proper hit going on. And we've got it over. Right now, I said right now, put it in control. And it seems we got reasonable control over it, so it's all good. Oh, it's going. It's going. I'm losing it. And it's gone. Oh, I didn't slow it down in time. Oh, at least we can put it. Made the car and or the truck into a convertible. And the drive shaft is gone. The trailer nearly made it through as well. Not bad. Reset that. Reset this and we'll try it again. But at high speed, unfortunately, the trailer tends to um, do that and lose control. But it does that a lot quicker with um, the dolly in the middle. Got a bit of damage on it already, but nothing too bad, so I'm just going to ignore that. And before. Can I can. Nope. Oh well, it's gone already. We'll just let it go down like this, hopefully. Work. 
Oh, if you let it glide down like this, then we'll try again. I'm gonna smash into that in a minute, but look at No, we just missed it. No. Oh, we're gonna hit the ramp. I think we're gonna miss the ramp completely. Yeah, we're gonna miss the ramp. Well, this didn't turn out to be that interesting at all. Make it interesting. There we go. And again, I think. Yeah, it didn't turn out to be that interesting. So, reset that. Reset that. Try again. Hopefully we can get it to him, um, Clyde D. Given next time. Hopes to go as straight as possible down into the first bit. With minimal turn. Now apply the power. Spin out on me now. I think we're just about going to hit it. Yeah, we're just about going to hit it. Perfect. Get a good angle on it. impact. That's not good at all. Ooh. That trailer really bent. There's not much left of, of that pickup at all. And there wouldn't be any thing left to get from that car and there's going to be like a police investigation. There would be absolutely nobody left at all. And just want to make a bit more mess and go down in this one and hit into the same area. Oh, area. Got a stupid APS kicking on this. Right, let's go down here. Let's see if we can make that, that crash a little bit more squished. Get a nice speed coming from this truck anyway. This one here. Oh, we're gonna miss completely, so try that again. And then that'll be the last crash. Just saving this car. That's um, gonna add to the pile. Up. I 
walking anywhere like near bad like, what, like orange truck has been crumbled up us. But this old crash with the truck and trailer. That was just very bad. Nice obviously glitched out. Um But yeah, anyway this has been Hatching on you and um hope you enjoyed this video. If if you have please subscribe and um, tell your friends to do the same thing as well. I should be bringing some more feed BMNG videos soon. Hopefully some more Titanfall 2 if you're into that. And um, we'll, be, we'll be doing some um, Battlefield 1 gameplay as well. I probably won't be doing any commentary on them ones either. I can't be off to sit the microphone up on it yet. I'll get around to doing it eventually. But um, yeah, can't be asked at the minute. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching them.